Welcome back to my channel and to a styling video which I cannot wait to share with you. I used to do so many styling and fashion videos here on this channel and I haven't done any for so long and I really enjoy them because I love trying to give you inspiration to use what you have, to shop your wardrobe, to get inspired by Pinterest and Instagram, trends that you can actually make from what you already own or maybe buy some key pieces, some essentials, make a capsule wardrobe and just trying to inspire you guys. So let me know if you do want more videos like this here on this channel. I know you guys always ask for fashion videos and I think personally because I'm not maybe a fashionable person, I don't see myself as fashionable. I don't really, I guess I'm kind of, have those limiting beliefs that you guys will want to watch that sort of thing but I know you always ask for them also I'm always really conscious of my stomach so you can see I'm like so bloated so it's really been putting me off doing this and I've meant to do this in the winter and I didn't get around to it but anyway here we are I hope you guys enjoy it so I'm going to be inspiring you to shop your wardrobe I'll be going through some spring basics let me know if you want like a spring capsule wardrobe video or essentials or something like that have to apologize for the the light it's awful but it's so dark outside so here we are we've got a massive ring light on and it's giving me all the shadows in all the wrong places but anyway let's get on with the video guys I'm going to be giving you five spring outfits inspired by Pinterest Instagram but I'm going to be shopping my wardrobe, so I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. I've put this light on above me thinking it might help, but it's just giving me crazy shallow shadows on my face. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about what the trends are for spring, but it's really important to kind of recognise, understand that trends are cyclical. I mean, I wore cycling shorts and a tie-dye hoodie the other day. Hello, 90s and 80s, and probably before that. These things are coming around and around, so it's really good to be able to play with your wardrobe. It's about creativity, it's about making something out of something that you didn't think you would be able to have unless you bought it. So when I talk about uh, saving on your Instagram, like saving posts that you really like the style of, or taking pictures of your own outfits, this is all about saving money. So when you want to recreate something, you've got loads of ideas. Pinterest is a great place, but I find with Instagram, if there's someone's style that I really love, then I can use that, save their post, and then try and recreate the post as well. So let me know who you love following in the comments, and I will share reels as well on my Instagram, which is Zara Joanna Jarvis. So it will give you some like short and snappy ideas as well. My Pinterest account is Lara Joanna Jarvis, just like it is across all of my platforms. And over here, I share loads of advice on budgeting or travel guides or fashion. So pop on over and check me out if you like on Pinterest. So the first trend that I want to talk about is wide leg trousers. I'm a big fan of a wide leg trouser. I think it gives a really good silhouette, really good for shorter people as well. You can wear them with heels and elevate your height because you can't see your feet because they're so wide. And they're just a really nice piece to have in your wardrobe as a kind of capsule essential and then add in. I've got a couple of them. None of this stuff I've bought for this video, by the way. This is all stuff. I'm shopping my wardrobe. Shop your closet or wherever you are in the world. We call it a wardrobe. So these are all pieces that I've already had. I will do a video on Vinted very soon. I'm just waiting for a few last minute things to come. I love Vinted. If you don't know what it is, I'll leave a link for you in the description. It's free to join. It is a, a selling site for clothes and other things as well. But you can literally go on there. If you see on Instagram someone's wearing wide leg trousers or you know you like the look of something, go on to Vinted. Just change that habit of actually going on to like H&M or Zara. Go on to Vinted and type wide leg trouser, white jean, blazer, whatever it is and see if you can buy it second hand, you know, pre-loved, they're in a really good condition, it's helping the environment, it's also really good for your budget as well. So some of the things here are from Vinted, but I didn't buy them before this video, if that makes sense. So I also might do a spring transition capsule wardrobe, I think. And the next is like fantasy florals. So floral, but quite whimsical. It's spring, you're not gonna get through spring without a nice floral print. So I've got some of those to show you as well. Blazers are here to stay. I have long been a fan of a blazer. I think you can really elevate an outfit with a blazer. So you could wear like a hoodie and put a blazer on top of it and it suddenly looks like you're actually, you know, good to go outside. And let's be honest, we've probably all been living in our 
loungewear for a long time with lockdown and everything. So I will get into the outfits very soon. I just wanted to count down these trends. Next is puffball sleeves. So I'm kind of embracing that in, in this video. This top is quite annoying though because it does like fall down a lot. But this trend is a really nice trend to wear with a wide leg trouser as well, tucked in. Uh, but you can get loads of different ones with um, kind of a netting. Netting is another big trend and holes. So I can't, I'm not really sure if I'd go for that trend. And another one is bralettes and vests. Now, obviously with my bloating, I'm not a fan of this trend, but I do really like the look of it. So I'm gonna try and incorporate it. So for maybe if you're feeling a little bit conscious around the stomach area, or you know, bloated like me. Maybe it's something that you're not quite keen on, but we're gonna try and make it work for all body shapes. So those are some of the trends, and I'm gonna now go through and recreate them with what is already in my wardrobe, and then I'm gonna look at some Instagram accounts that I really love that I will share with you guys, and just try and recreate what they're wearing but with stuff I already own in my wardrobe. So I really hope you like it. Guys, if you're enjoying this video already, please do give it a like. It really, really helps me out. And it guides me to let me know if you want more videos like this. And why not subscribe to my channel? It's just down there, click the little button. And if you really fancy it, then you can click the notifications to get updated whenever I post a new video. I love to share budget and slow fashion and intentional spending and living and minimalism as well. We all know my ongoing journey to minimalism is just one that is just, it's ongoing, but I love to share videos to inspire you guys. So hopefully you want to stick around and subscribe. Okay, I'm gonna share the first outfit, which is so easy to create. I guarantee you will have at least one or two items in your wardrobe that you'll be able to incorporate into this look. So it's gonna be a really trendy, is that even a trendy word? What is a trendy word for trendy? Cool? On fleek? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not that anymore. Let me know, I don't know what. You know what I mean though, it's trendy Wendy. I'm a big fan of a mom jean. I just really like the straight leg style of it. So we're gonna be using these. This is a Primark pair, I believe. Uh, I've had it for a long time and they're just like a, a light distressed denim. And I'm gonna try and share all the links in the description bar if they're still valid. Obviously a lot of this stuff is very, very old, uh, but you can still get it, you know, if you're looking to buy some things. So a white tee you cannot go wrong with. You will just be able to wear this in so many ways. I've been loving the bra tuck of late, where you basically just tuck the front in and then when you pull it down, excuse my stomach, will not you? Um, you've got like a little bit of a cropped situation. I really find like it's a really nice relaxed, but really, fitted way of wearing a t-shirt. So that is the basic look, which is just a je like a, a basic white tee and a jean. You cannot go wrong, my friends. That's a definite favorite combo. And then we're going to pop a little fedora on. This one is a thrifted fedora from Marks and Spencers. I'll be able to show you a bit better in a minute. Is it even on the right way? <laughs> it's on the wrong way. <laughs> this is why I can't be a fashion blogger. I'm just not fashionable, guys. I'm gonna pop on some heels. Again, you don't have to wear heels with this. Whatever you feel comfortable with, but I just wanted to show you like just the basics really. And then I'm gonna throw on a black blazer. This is a longer length blazer, which is my favorite kind of blazer. I used to have so many blazers, I love them. This is actually a little bit tight these days. Floor length, you've got the shoes, which again, like you could just wear a trainer like those if you wanted. Equally, if you didn't want the t-shirt tucked in like that, just literally give one little front tuck like that and then pull the rest out wear with a simple plain belt. I love it, I love this look so much. So, a wide leg trouser, and I've got a couple here. These are a few years old from, one is from Quiz, which I bought for a birthday night out, and I then didn't wear it for ages, but now I can wear it in the daytime, and they're so comfy as well. Um, so I think it's just like giving it a second lease of life. These are actually from Coast, which I'll try and leave a link to these, but this is taking in the floral and the wide leg as well, so I feel like I'm winning on that one. And then this one is a thrifted purchase from f and and they're just brilliant. You can wear them with trainers so that they keep their length or wear them with heels as well if you're a bit shorter. So I've got a few here and these, as I said, are just from my wardrobe. But I'm gonna style them up for you and show you guys if you've got any color, any style, anything like that, how you can style them to this kind of year's trends. Although I just wanna kind of add that I think style is just your own personality. It's art coming out in fashion form. So don't feel like you have to do a particular way because that's what's in fashion. Just whatever you enjoy wearing and what makes you feel good. And yeah, whatever you can muster up in your wardrobe. Next piece I'm obsessed with. I got it in the sale at M&S. 
actually this is relatively new but I got it for if we ever go on holiday because it was in the sale it's 14 pounds reduced from 30 and I actually got it in size 20 because I think it's just gonna be such a gorgeous cover-up for the beach but also multitasking it it can be worn in a different way as well so this is for the beach so just like imagine with like a swimsuit underneath and you just want to go and get a drink from the bar and then you kind of flounce your way to the bar with your sun hat on oh i'm so excited but how i want to show you is to have it so with the wide leg trouser so i'm literally going to take because it's so big you could do this with like a button down shirt as well that would be ideal so because it's so big i can make two little like little handles here and i'm just going to literally tie them around like that and then it just gives that really nice oversize which is another key trend really kind of like casual but so chic in my opinion shirt look with the high-waisted trouser as i said you can easily do this with um like a heel if you wanted to or a different kind of shoe tan and like that i just think it's just such a nice casual look just meet the girls for brunch and you can play around with this like however you feel comfortable tucking it you can play it around you can have it like really really high if you wanted uh yeah any way that you feel comfortable and as i said any kind of shirt would do as well next is a casual just a white vest top this one again is from coast so what you could wear is a is a nice chunky belt here along the middle just to give you like a little bit more of a silhouette i've just chucked over a blazer just a dark blue one whatever color you might have i've got a biscuit one as well it might work and this would go really really well with another trend which is bralettes but if you aren't feeling like you can be confident to do that then a vest is another trend that is a really good way of just making the outfit look really nice but without having to show you too much flesh so next up is white trousers honestly these need to be in your wardrobe even if you don't feel confident to wear them they are so versatile and they instantly like if i'm ever going to like a barbecue i'm like oh what should i wear or an event or something like what should i wear if i think of white trousers i suddenly have like loads of different outfits i can think of putting together they just are like a forgotten item i feel although you may not have forgotten them you may well love them as well but if you haven't got some really nice ones at the moment like really high-waisted uh, wide leg ones i'd love to have some like that i've been looking out on vintage for those my hair's probably getting more and more bedraggled throughout this video so next is a a nice jumper so I feel like I'm constantly on the search for the perfect jumper um, I'm just gonna go with whichever one I can find in my wardrobe this is from H&M and it's just a really nice balloon sleeve I haven't tried it yet to see if it will fit under the blazer but I'm gonna do a style with this which I think is brilliant for just day to day if you're going out for a brunch I mean I say this like we're going anywhere we're not going anywhere but when we can do you know just meeting a friend maybe not a friend with young children because you're wearing white jeans and that never ends well let me tell you okay even as is this is a nice look I really like this look you can't go wrong with a white jean my friend so we're gonna try and fit this under a blazer it is very ballooned um I'm gonna take this one which I bought last year and it's from Primark. I saw the same one in H&M for maybe 20 pounds more. So depending on where you want to buy from, there are lots of these around, or well, there were last year, I'm sure there still will be. So we're gonna go with another bra tuck, or even actually, I don't think this jumper's very long, maybe it'll just fit like that. Gone with a little Primark headband, which I've got quite a few of these, just nice to like add a little bit of va va voom to your hair uh, and I've, I have actually bra tucked it but as you can see I'm so bloated I'm sucking in belt that you wouldn't believe so if you didn't want to wear it like that then obviously you could like it just gives a nice crop to it but you could also just tuck it just a little front tuck can't go wrong with a front tuck like that and then with the blade cough on my pocket with the blazer as well it just makes it just feel so much more elevated but without any real effort and it's obviously going to keep you warm as well on those cooler spring days if you can see my footwear i've just gone with the air force ones again these are from nike and they are they were about 20 pounds from outlet village uh you may remember i was searching for white trainers that would go with anything um not too sure if i love them but i've had them a year or so and uh, i do wear them a lot so yeah i just love it i just love 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 a blazer wear it with some statement jewelry i think this is a in the fro style collab I'll link it below for you. Next, I'm gonna show you a hoodie 
just snapped my hanger. <laughs> uh, this one is from H&M. It's a really long one and I've loved wearing it all of the winter with like wet look coated leggings. I have the mint velvet ones. I'll try and tag them for you. Link them in the description. But it's just a really easy, comfortable thing to wear. It covers my bloating, which is amazing, especially if you have any like insecurities around your stomach area. So I'm gonna try this on and show you guys how to kind of like elevate your loungewear for back into the real world. <laughs> so I've kept on my white jeans because I haven't got any like leggings to show you. I went to buy some the other day and I really, really wanted to. Um, but to get the free shipping, you have to spend over 50 quid. Then I was like two pairs of 70 quid. And I was like, can I really justify paying 70 pounds for two pairs of leggings? I just don't think I can. So I canceled the basket. So uh, yeah, I've got the white jeans on still. So I'm gonna take this coat, which was in the sale again at M&S. It was £24 down from 50 which I thought was a really good price. And with even without leggings, this is a great outfit with jeans. But I love having a hoodie with either a blazer over the top or a nice fitted coat like this. Even a trench coat would work. There's loads of different ways to wear this outfit. Also with this, you could like turn up the sleeves just to make it a little bit less formal or the elastic band trick that I shared in my recent vlog. If you wanted just to have them pulled up like this, which I haven't got an elastic band on me or a hair band. Uh, but yeah, I think I just love it. I just love anything this kind of style, really casual, but really chic in my opinion. And yeah, I really like this outfit. Let me know in the comments which one your favorite outfit is as well, guys. I think we're on four or five maybe. You have to count back. But what do you think? Do you like this one? Obviously any jacket would go well any colour hoodie, any trouser, it's just the combination and the layering as well which I really love about this look. Okay I have to tell you about this bralette which is an unholy amount of boobage on show. I got it from Vinted, it was brand new from Zara, labels were on it um, and I thought it would look really nice for this trend but it's so booby and so small <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to keep it so I'll probably resell it on Vinted. By the way my Vinted is Lara Drona Jarvis did I say that already? I'll leave a link if you want to join, it's free to join. So it's very, very booby, but I just wanted to show you this as one of the looks. So I've got the black wide leg trousers on now. With this, it's a really good going out outfit as well, or like a dinner outfit. I think that'd be a really nice way to wear it. But I mean, honestly, where have these boobs come from? But yeah, I do really like this look, but I just don't feel comfortable in this bralette at all. But I wanted to include it for anyone looking for how to wear this trend. Another way to wear this, if you didn't want to wear a blazer, is to take a shirt. I've got one of these Ralph Lauren's. I'm, gonna I'm about to list this actually because I haven't worn it for 10 years. <laughs> Put it like that down there. And then maybe not with this kind of trouser, but then it's just like that little nod to the trend of showing the bralette or a nice bra, but without actually having to like have your entire boob out because I for one feel really uncom uh, unconfident. Um, just on show, don't really feel comfortable with that. Um, but yeah, something like that or tucked in. Um, to a pair of jeans, wide leg jeans, something like that. It's just another little way to use this trend if it's what you like. So guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for popping by to watch this video. Don't forget to let me know in the comments which one your favorite outfit was, and let me know if you want more videos like this to help you style your life on a budget. I really hope it was helpful, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you so soon. Bye.